You are welcome to God's Word TV. Here is an online platform dedicated to spread kingdom messages to mankind. I believe this message is out to bless you. So go get your pen and paper. Let's go learn something today. As you do so, please make sure you subscribe. God bless you. Every arm robber comes from a home. Everyone disturbing society comes from a home. Every champion who is affecting society positively comes from a home. Family is the bedrock of every society. It's often said that charity begins at home. It is not only charity that begins at home. Anything begins at home. Good or bad. Discipline begins at home. Productivity begins at home. Responsibility begins at home. Family life is very important. There is a reason why God designed family life the way it is. So the father has his role to play as far as raising a child is concerned. The Bible says train up a child in the way he should go, not the way you want him to go. Your first assignment as a parent is to find out the blueprint of that child's destiny. Then to raise that child consistent with the blueprint you have been given. Train up a child in the way he should go. I submit to you with every sense of responsibility and respect that most of the people that evolve into failures in society their failures started from lack of proper mentorship that should have come from father and mother they were allowed to freelance their ideas about life and they began to handpick ideas from all kinds of references the average family today depends on school to do their work you ask most children where they get their convictions from. My teacher said, my teacher said, not daddy said, if you're fortunate to take your child to a good school, then it's safe for you. If not so, then there is trouble waiting for you. We must restore the order of family. Let the child start learning how to pray from home. Let the child start learning how to give from home. Not by the father giving instruction. Train means lead the way. You know how a train moves? A train moves in coaches. So when the Bible says train up a child, it means do it, let him see. Not just tell him to do it. Children are not good listeners, but they are good imitators. Are we blessed? Yes. When the father demonstrates priesthood, I'm glad today is Father's Day. Your children are sleeping and you get up as the priest in the family. Let your children know you serving the Lord. Let your children, let me tell you what will happen. While you are walking around the house, laying hands and praying, one day your little son will follow you. He will cry and say, Daddy, I want to follow you. You will say, go and sleep. He will refuse. One day when you travel, he will go and kneel down where he has seen you kneeling down. He will be trying to pray in tongues. Bah, 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 bah. He doesn't know what he's doing, but you are training the child. Can I tell you this? We can transform society when we begin to bring the value system of the kingdom in family. By the time the children are watching daddy and mommy fighting, insulting themselves, tearing themselves. By the time the children witness irresponsibility from the father, always flogging them back home as a result of school fees. And yet they see the father celebrating ceremonies every two, two months with an amount that is ten times the school fees. There is a subliminal message you are giving that child. Once he becomes a teenager, he embraces rebellion with joy. He keeps that vendetta and waits until he is empowered. Then he will come back with a revenge mission. May God help Christian families to be true representations of not just godliness, but responsibility and productivity. Otherwise, let me tell you this, one generation of neglect is all we need and we will recycle ourselves back to, to societal decadence. I'm sorry to say it and I don't mean to insult you, but have you checked the last time, have you checked our children and our little ones and have you seen the level of disdain they have towards the things of God? Growing up, if visitors come to your house and you don't greet they won't flog you but you can know what will happen later on not by prophecy there are there are coded looks languages 
that already inform you of what is waiting by non-compliance i'm not talking of being abusive uh -uh. if they gave you money you will thank the person and hand it over immediately but right now they are giving you money and it's your child who is collecting it and bullying everyone we didn't interrupt the conversation of elders growing up no if elders come you go and sit down you greet them and sit quietly now you can be discussing serious things and a child will come and play and be slapping you and the parents are laughing discipline is part of love we must restore discipline and hear me please hear me please if for any reason you did not have an opportunity to be properly mentored and you are grown is still not too late there is the holy ghost there are pastors your assignment is to listen are we together yes sir listen family it's important we must learn your children should have the first revelation of jesus not from a pastor from their parents the prayer the fasting the times of teaching and mentorship the lord is restoring family in jesus name